Hey people, what's going on? Good afternoon. So I just wanted to come on here real quick and tell you guys about what's been going on with me. But for those of you who are new, welcome to the B channel where my mission is to bless, edify, and encourage you guys to live your best lives. And um, this week I just wanted to give you guys an update on what's going on with me. I feel like I fell off a little bit with the fasting in terms of sticking with the window. But I have noticed that, like I said before, when I stop eating early, I sleep so much better. And um, I also feel like sometimes with the fasting, I feel like you lose, you do lose weight with like, like, in terms of inches, it's not necessarily pounds, but you lose inches. And because, like, I could tell by how my body looks. And that's another thing, guys. Like, you think you may think that you're not making progress, but take pictures. And then you'll look back at a picture from, like, months ago or years ago. And you'll be like, wow, I look totally different. Because, like, like um, today on Facebook, I saw a throwback picture from, like, five years ago. And that right there, that's another thing. A picture is a motivation to stick with it and to, like, keep going after your goals. Because when I saw that picture, I was like, woo, child. Like, like, I was one of those people where I was, like, always, like, team fluffy. I never really had a problem with it, but, like... And like, but I feel like parents, they, they love you and they're just like, hmm, you need to like take care of yourself. And then like, I feel like it didn't really hit home with me until like my father started to get sick and things of that nature. So once I realized, you know, um, hey, like you can kind of talk to yourself like, hey, girl, you know, these diseases like blood high blood pressure and diabetes and cholesterol and the strokes, all of these, um, you know, infirmities, they run in your family. So you're going to have to nip this in the bud if you, you want to be around for a long haul and you want to be there to take care of them when they get older. So... And, you know, you don't want to have to deal with these things. You kind of have to, like, give yourself these pep talks every now and then. And then you also have to be careful, guys, with, like, extremism. Because, like, it was getting to the point, y'all, where I was like, okay, I'm going to low acid, low glycemic, low carb, low salicylate, low salt, low everything. Now, what's left if everything is low? Now, what I've learned this week is that I need to free myself and give myself permission. And that it's okay to be flawed and imperfect. You just have to keep going and know that each day is a new day. You get a clean slate. You get a fresh start. And I have to try my best not to focus on the past because what's done is done. Like, okay, I, I messed up a few windows and instead of doing, like, the 16 8 i probably was doing more like a 16 10 y'all you know what i'm saying which doesn't make sense because it's more it's not it's only 24 hours in a day but you get my drift but like um i just feel like um you know i'm just sometimes i'm my worst critic i'm one of those people that's like a perfectionist so like once i latch on to a goal or I'm working on disciplining myself in a certain area. I kind of go left with it and just do too much. So you have to really like pay attention to your life, people. That's something that I learned in this book I've been reading this week. Well, the last couple of months, actually. It's called She's Still There by this um, lovely lady named Crystal Evans Hurst. And it's really been a great book. And it also, I, I just... Um, there was this lady also named um, Emily Freeman, and I listened to a podcast of hers, and she was saying that you have to 
let yourself in like don't consider your soul as like no trespassing like let yourself in don't keep yourself out on the porch of your soul like you have to let yourself in and i know like as some of you out there probably like wow that's super deep like wow that's that's crazy but it made a lot of sense to me and it even made me cry like in a way because i was like wow like maybe i am like you're not you don't give yourself permission to breathe you don't like you don't know how to enjoy solitude sometimes in this um go 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 world that we live in and it's like you're always like doing something and you're always going somewhere and you don't know how to just be still and just enjoy that time so i, I learned this week that even five minutes of just solitude is important to just breathe and just 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 try your best to just focus on your breath and just just chill out. That's very important. I have to take the um, moments of silence throughout the day. Just to have a quiet time to reflect and meditate and things of that nature. And I just learned that some sometimes we are smothering our souls and we we we're like closed our we, we're closed off from our own selves like. It's like we're afraid of, of being alone with ourselves. And I just found that to be so deep, y'all. Like, and then, like, in terms of the fasting, it's something that I never would have done before, or at least consciously. It's something I would have never consciously done, y'all. And the crazy part is now it's like, wow. It, like, when I look back at, like, when I was younger and sometimes I'd be in my room and stuff and I'd be so busy doing something that I would forget to eat. But, like, that's crazy that this is, like, a thing. That's how life progresses. Things that, that seem, like, that you can't place a finger on or, or you don't have really a name for it. Then, like, somebody comes along later and they call it something that's just, like, bananas to even think that that's, that it's a thing, you know? You don't even, sometimes you don't even think about it. You just, you know, you forget. But, um, anyway, it's, it's amazing that, um... The discipline that you develop from not always having to worry about it and things of that nature. But my whole goal today is just to let y'all know that it's okay to not be perfect and give yourself permission to try new things and know that food, um, we're not in food prison. And that it's, it's okay to try different things and things of that nature. And to just um, give yourself permission to be kind to yourself and listen to yourself. And um, 